the Great Pyramids, although undoubtedly one of the greatest ancient sites upon Earth. Many feel that when these enigmatic structures are one day inevitably deciphered and their subsequent significance realized, this importance to the development of man will utterly eclipse that which has already been unraveled here upon our planet. It is a site that we predict will encounter numerous astonishing discoveries that will undoubtedly be played down or discredited by mainstream academia and media alike. Interestingly, however, regardless of our suspicions, an international research group's finds have seemingly been shared worldwide by the same organizations we so often find ourselves here upon our channel accusing of conspiracy. This research team apparently applied methods of theoretical physics to the site in an effort to investigate the electromagnetic response of the Great Pyramids to radio waves. In an exercise reminiscent of those which unraveled astonishing characteristics of the Bosnian pyramids has produced results that, predictably, since their discovery, scientists have stated were supposedly predicted under certain resonance conditions. They now state that the pyramid was predicted to concentrate electromagnetic energy in its internal chambers and under the base. This supposed initial prediction was made regardless of the fact that not a single claim to these events had ever been made within a single thesis funded by academia. Conveniently, this research group plans to use the theoretical results to design nanoparticles capable of reproducing similar effects in the optical range. Such nanoparticles may be used to develop sensors and highly efficient solar cells. The study was published in the Journal of Applied Physics. It seems to us that those in control of the production lines of mankind are seemingly aware of the technological prowess of the Great Pyramids, yet appear to be suppressing such discoveries in favor of financial control. In other words, the people who have permitted the release of these finds are the same people controlling the flow of information and technological development of our species. Quote, the Egyptian pyramids have always attracted great attention. We as scientists were interested in them as well, so we decided to look at the Great Pyramid as a particle dissipator of radio waves resonantly. Due to the lack of information about the physical properties of the pyramid, we had to use some assumptions. For example, we assume that there are no unknown cavities inside, and the building material had the properties of an ordinary limestone evenly distributed in and out of the pyramid. With these assumptions made, we obtained interesting results that can find important practical applications, says Dr. S. C. Andre Evluchin, scientific supervisor and coordinator of the research. We feel the research is dubious, not only due to the fact that it has been shared within the same mainstream media who we feel have for a long time been funded to tell an entirely different story but also due to the attempted conviction that there are no chambers left to be uncovered within the pyramid. Is there something within the pyramid that, no matter how hard certain powers try, they cannot seem to hide? Is this the reason for this conclusion and subsequent research being so widely covered? We find the discovery and subsequent coverage to be highly suspicious. There are some extremely interesting anomalies which can be found on Earth, the most impressive of which undoubtedly found upon the Giza Plateau. Particularly regarding the alignment of the Great Sphinx and the dating this can give us for its possible construction. Pertaining to a past alignment with the star constellations Leo, some researchers have concluded that the Sphinx was built over two processions prior to its current date, over 10,000 years ago a conclusion that has predictably been denied as possibly being accurate by certain bodies of study. However, compelling ancient ruins, pointing to a date of construction far back to this 10,000 plus time period, can in fact be found on an entirely different continent. Discovered carved into the roof of an ancient tomb within Japan, this amazing engraving is actually a star chart. However, due to the claimed age of the tomb, it has been dated to a far more recent time within history than the evidence within the map is illustrating. 
the roof of the tomb is unusual. Instead of the usual religious illustrations, the ceiling depicted this enigmatic celestial map, complete with 68 constellations painted in gold and three concentric circles drawn in vermilion, these displaying the movement of all our system's celestial objects. Funded researchers claim that the ancient star chart was drawn around 65 BC, with the tomb said to have housed the remains of an official or prince of the region. And although academia believes that the star map was made using observations of the celestial heavens, the research which has been done to unravel the map has revealed some startling controversial implications. The star map is actually extremely ancient, depicting alignments over 10 millennia older than the date claimed. The obvious question would be, who could have created a map of the heavens so early in history? Why would they want to do so? If they were, like academia states, not actually observing this constellation in real time, and didn't actually create it as a logical form of dating their own tomb, then why draw such a chart? We personally suspect that this star chart is an upart, masquerading as an explained away anomaly. Yet regardless of academic claims regarding the Dunhuang star chart, it is undoubtedly a remarkable item of interest. Thanks for watching guys, and until next time, take care.
in April 2005, while visiting Visoko, Bosnia, Sam Semiros Manajic noticed the unusual shape of the hills in the region. Upon exploring them extensively, he discovered that they were enormous pyramids, covered in a rich sediment which is abnormally fertile. Construction companies and geologists did core drilling and geomorphological analysis, which resulted in the announcement of the first pyramids in Europe. Since then, according to Sam, the Bosnian Pyramid, of the Sun Foundation, has become the world's largest interdisciplinary archaeological project. Having spent over 340,000 man-hours in archaeological excavations, during which, some of the most profound discoveries surrounding pyramids, have been made, the most intriguing amongst these finds being those of a team of physicists, who have detected an energy beam traveling through the Bosnian Pyramid, of the Sun, and then emitted out of the top. The radius of the beam is 4.5 meters, with a frequency of 28 kilohertz. The beam is continuous and its strength grows as it moves up and away from the pyramid. This is the first proof of non-Hertzian technology's existence, the pyramids appears to be emitting a form of free energy. In the underground labyrinth, in 2010, three chambers and a small blue lake were discovered. Energy screening of the water shows that the ionization level is 43 times higher than the average concentration outside. Further electromagnetic detection in 2011 confirmed that levels of negative radiation are equal to zero in the tunnels. There is no technical radiation caused by modern technologies found in the tunnels and no cosmic radioactivity either, as if somehow completely isolated from the outside world. Underground water has negative energy transformed into positive. What are these beams of energy? Where do they go? They may indicate that whatever is beneath the pyramids is still functioning, and may be in communication with the receiving source. A number of odd ceramic stones have been discovered in the tunnels beneath, some weighing in excess of several tons, the purpose of these stones remains a mystery. Witnesses to strange beams of light being emitted from pyramids have been reported worldwide, some reports even accompanied by photographic evidence of the events. Recently the number of people reportedly seeing a beam of light being emitted into space have skyrocketed. Many quote debunkers have rushed to provide an explanation, yet the best that they could come up with is more people are sharing photos of beams of light, due to the original report that went viral. Not really a debunking, more a supporting argument. Coincidentally, it was of a beam of energy captured by a Hector Slizar, of the exact same phenomena, just confirmed as existing in Bosnia, that they argue started an influx of recent reports online. Has a huge underground machine started up again? Or are we just becoming more aware of the phenomena, thus noticing it more in general? Upon being asked for a statement in regards to the discovery in Bosnia, Dr. Osmanagic said, Perhaps by changing our beginnings, or learning to better understand our beginnings, we can also change our present and our future. I will keep you posted.